Yeah. Okay. So the next speaker, uh, Dr. Wuslan uh, Krab Kainsky. Uh, sorry for that. <laughs> And he's working um, as a, as a leader, leading researcher, laboratory of analyzing control and monitoring, Carpathian National Natural Park, Ministry of Ecology and Natural Resources, and he's from Ukraine. Uh, he's working on land hydrology, water resources, hydrochemistry, water relation, and water quality. Uh, today, he will be talking on mountain, rivers, and riverine ecology. So welcome, Dr. Wisdom. Uh, it's time for you. Thank you. May I begin? Yeah, yeah, we are here with you. You're going to step up. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ruslan. I am employer of the Carpathian National Nature Park in Ukraine. And the topic of my lecture is devoted to a very important um, for our region, mountain rivers as, and riverine ecology. Uh, uh, so, our lecture will include two main aspects. The first part uh, will reveal to concept of mountain rivers, their features and the definition of their individual physical characteristics. The second one is devoted to ecological features. So, what is the mountain? Uh, what is a mountain river? In elementary school, we were told that mountains cover more than one quarter of Earth's land surface. This is a very significant part. Mountain ranges uh, have their own hydrographic features and the mountains are often called natural water towers. They incept air circulating around the globe and for, uh, force it uh, uh, ports where it condenses into clouds which provide rain and snow. Mountains uh, also store water in various wells, including the formation of snow and ice, which is later released and melt off during warmer period, often those with the lowest rainfall. It is no surprise that in semi-arid and arid region, uh, over 70 to 19% of, of river flows come from mountains. But even in temperate areas, 30 to 60% of fresh water can come uh, from uh, highland or wet watersheds. In the rain basi basin, for example, the Alps provide 31% of annual flows. In summer, more than 50% even thought they make up just 11% of the basin's land area. In fact, all the major rivers in the world, from the Rio Grande to the Nile um, River, um, uh, have their headwaters in mountains. And one of every two people on the planet depends on mountain water in one or another for drinking uh, as a source of energy or income for growing food. And another. So, a mountain is a river is a river that runs usually in mountains, in narrow deep valley with uh, steep banks, rocky stream, bed, and um, accumulated rock debris. Uh, mountains rivers are characterized by high slope and low velocity, in significant depth, frequent rapids, and waterfalls, as well as dominated washed out processes. The gradient of mountain rivers is cal calculated um, at 60, 70 meters per kilometer in upper stream and 5, 10 meters per kilometer in the lower. More precisely, it is greater than or equal to 0 0.002 meters per meter along most of its stream lake. Speed of stream is measured at 1 to 4.5 meters per second and higher. So, as a report by a number of scientists, Montes rivers show typical characteristics such as high slope, high oscillation between minimum and maximum discharge, high mobility of uh, bed load, sediments, uh, countless 
transitions between uh, um, variation in channel geometry associated to sediment supply, debris flow uh, occurrence, and high channel um, entrenchment ratio. Um, some scientists also co uh, commented that in the Montes River, the water and sediment move quickly in the catchment, accomplishing hydrometeorological processes more extremely. And the more typ uh, typical uh, features of Monte Rivers are presented here. It's a significant, uh, significant flow velocity, sharp seasonal and daily fluctuation in the water level, significant slope, um, steep banks, um, unstable water regime, uh, climatic heterogeneity of uh, their basin on many mountains rivers continuous glaciation does not occur due to high flow velocities sediment transport low water uh, temperature and the uh, several authors uh, have been proposing different approaches for classifying rivers uh, by channel orders, process domains, where the physical processes occurring in the rivers are considered, fuel channel patterns, interaction between channel and uh, floodplain, mobility and bay material, channel units, hierarchical classification, and uh, statistical classification. Now, for example, I would like to give a classification of mountain riverbeds by the nature of channel transformation and their morphological manifestation. And the first one is a threshold waterfall channel. In the example, the Tisa River, the uh, Tisa Basin, uh, Turetsa River in Carpathians. And the second one is a channel with a developed alluvial form. Ulichka River, uh, the same Tisa Basin in Ukraine, in Carpathian. And the third one is a uh, can, can channel with un, un developed alluvial forms. This is Luta River, the same. So, continuing the theme on mountain rivers, uh, let me remind you one interesting fact of the famous British scientist William Thompson, first baron, Calvin. Uh, he said, when you can measure that you are speaking about and expressing the number, you know something about it. But when you cannot measure it, uh, when you cannot express it in number, your knowledge is of a merge and unsatisfactory kind. It may be the beginning of knowledge, but you have uh, scarily in your thought advanced to the stage of science, wherever the matter may be. So far we talk about rivers using verbal means. But how express the mountain rivers in numerical value? As you know, all rivers are divided into plain, semi mountainous and mountainous. There are several criteria for their division, but in classical hydrology, the solution of this problem relies on the so-called fruit number. The fruit number is a measurement of bulk flow characteristics such as waves, uh, fend, uh, bed forms, flow, depths, interaction at a cross section or between boulders, the domination presents the speed of small wave on the water surface relative to the speed of the water called wave thoroughly. Thus, making simple physical classification, we have that um, plain rivers is a river with a value of fruit less than 0 0.1, a semi mountain, uh, mountain river. Uh, the river um, with the value of a fruit number is the range of 0 uh, 0.1 and to 1. And the mountain rivers is a river with a uh, fruit number more than 1. It is not difficult, and I hope we figure this out. Um, as, as you know, the most characteristic feature of the Monte Rivers, it is a flow energy, which is expressed in water flow. As you know, measuring water flow is quite a difficult thing. This is type research should usually be performed during period of low water levels, which is associated with saving the life and health of researcher. 
The most popular measurement methods are uh, uh, tracer method, uh, velocity area method with current matter, velocity area method using the dipping bar or touch tap neck gems, bucket method, float method, Manning's equation. For measuring discharge in a mounting, rivers often recommended to use a DCP, acoustic Doppler uh, counter profiler. In many countries, velocity area method with current matter most often used. This has become a classical method. So the search Q in, is obtained by calculating in the integral of the stream velocity V over the cross section area of a flow A, where V is measured uh, perpendicular to the cross section. The velocity V can be measured in the discrete intervals along the cross section by means of a current meter. On small mountains, river is recommended to use um, component small size current meter. For example, uh, hair 55, hair uh, 11, hair 99, or in extreme cases, other with a uh, light blade propeller, like hair 21M, which you can in uh, this Im image. The work is carried out uh, in the following order. In the first, select an appropriate uh, cross section. Ideally, there should be no plants, no big stones, and the channel should be clearly defined. Uh, second, establish a point near the uh, select cross section where the water level can be minuted during the measurement. Three, inspect it and measure the cross section. Make a clear graphic uh, sketch of profile. The plan for plan uh, the measurement points and protocol based on the sketch on the profile. And the five perform the velocity measurement at the plan points to do um, so. One should select a profile uh, embedded to the stream velocity. And the six repeat measurement several times. Seven uh, work out. Uh, the measurement to obtain total discharge coup. Uh, for for uh, convincing the result of measurement and calculation are uh, carried out in a, uh, the same the same special notebooks. And the uh, next um, slide is devoted to a, a, a very interesting uh, part of um, river. This is a spring. As you know, a spring is a natural release of groundwater to the surface or underwater. The springs are unique components of the geological environment and areas as a result of uh, continuous dynamic processes of the global water cycle under the influence of gravity or hydrostatic pressure in various landscape and geomorphological conditions at the bottom of uh, ruins, uh, gullies on uh, hillis, uh, hillsides, steep river banks and the like. In fact, more rivers and streams of the mountain regions uh, originate um, precisely from the springs. In ancient time, in the Carpathians, spring, uh, springs um, were often called springs streams, and this often distinguished a mountain rivers from a plain, the um, presence of the significant number of water sources. Therefore, we pay special attention to their study. As you know, monitoring of springs consists of four. Uh, the first stage of monitoring is um, um, uh, in this, is this uh, stage, we our collection of valuable information provides for uh, the formation of a spring database on the distribution of springs based on the analysis of available materials, cadastral, archival space images. Uh, second stage of monitoring field surveys. The first uh, of the first level. They propose to carry out the geographic location of the springs and draw on cartographic media, tablets, map, maps, uh, terrain plans, ads. The exact uh, location of the main springs and carry out uh, descriptive and recognizes work in local areas. 
to determine the physical and geographical characteristic of the spring position coordinates absolute evolutions uh, at. Both classical small-scale topographic maps, plans, and modern global uh, positioning system, GPS, are used. And the third stage of monitoring, uh, field survey of the second level, are uh, aimed at determining the flow rate of springs and the chemical composition of water which will become the basin for uh, future research. Often the second stage of field uh, surveys in combined with the third. And the last fourth stage of monitoring, this is a field service of the third level. And this uh, level provide uh, for the organization and conduct on an uh, ongoing basin of obs observation of the reference springs in this it is necessary to study the parameters of the spring a flow rate temperature chemical composition of water based on the results of our research we wrote the first ukraine uh, book monograph uh, which uh, uh, about the natural springs of carpathian national nature park if the Car carpathian springs and um, in the next section of our lecture, I would like to briefly get acquainted with the condition of formation of the chemical, chemical composition of mountain rivers. And first of all, I'd like to talk about dissolved oxygen in mountain rivers. It's a very interesting. Um, as you know, although water molecules containing oxygen oxygen atom, this oxygen is not that is needed by aquatic uh, organism living in natural waters. As you know, the amount of dissolved oxygen in water depends on temperature, altitude, atmospheric pressure, water uh, turbulence, amount of um, precipitation, uh, water salinity, and other. Rapidly moving water, such, uh, such in a mountain stream, trends uh, to contain a lot of this dissolved oxygen. Um, and um, whereas uh, stagnant water contains less. On the mountain rivers, there are often river rapids, as you see, and watersheds. That is a particular of the active mixing of water masses, the increase gas exchange between the surface atmospheric and the water. Uh, to concentration, the concentration of dissolved oxygen if surface water is affected by temperature and um, has both seasonal and daily cycle. Cold water can uh, hold more dissolved oxygen than warm water in uh, winter and the early spring, when the water temperature is low, the dissolved oxygen concentration is high. Uh, in the summer and the fall, when the water temperature is high, the dissolved oxygen concentration is often lower. And the next one uh, is the major irons and total dissolved soils. In the process of uh, moving to the foot of the mountain, mountains, uh, the water is uh, saturated with salt and minerals inherent in the soils and rocks that uh, predominate in the areas which it was formed. Thus, its natural mineralization occurs. According to the international classification, water is considered to be weakly mineralized if it contains less than 50 milligrams uh, of salt per, per decimeter cubic, cubic decimeter. And this is typical of many mountainous rivers, especially uh, their headwaters. Despite the low mineralization mountain, uh, water is a, a multi-component complex system with a complex of chemical compounds. The extract composition of water in mountains, rivers, depends on the geographical features of the region in which it was formed. However, it has a balanced 
content of uh, essential trace element, magnesium, calcium, fluorine, zinc, iron, sodium, and other. In addition, carbonate and hydrocarbonate group of elements are present in mountain water. But I would like to focus on two indicators, chlorides and sulfates which may under certain con condition be a limiting factor in the water uh, consumption. Public drinking water standard require chloride level not to accept 250 milligram per uh, cubic decimeter and uh, so far the same. The primary source of chloride in natural water is uh, in igneous rocks which include fluorine containing minerals, uh, sodalite, chlorapatite. A significant amount of chloride uh, enters natural waters from the ocean to the atmosphere, and the results of the uh, interaction of precipitation with soil as uh, well as volcanic emissions. And the sulfates enter surface water mainly and due to the process of chemical um, weathering and the dissolution of sulfur contacting minerals, in particular uh, gypsum, as well as oxidation of solids and sulfur. Uh, river of major mountain regions have very weakly mineralized water. In the west, majority of classes for mountain rivers there is uh, no the same connection. Um, and the next, I would like to pay special attention to the study of the content in water uh, of certain uh, nutrients, in the particular um, inorganic nitrogen compounds, NH4+, NO2-, and NO3-. In the mountain regions, including the Carpathian region participation formed on the uh, oxygen condition, pH um, above five. In general, the uh, average annual concentration of major ions in precipitation, for example, uh, the already noted Carpathian most country is characterized by a significant content of nitrates. Or 1.6 milligrams per cubic decimeter, and the monium nitrogen, uh, 1.4 milligram per cubic decimeter. Also, a significant content of nitrates and ammonium nitrogen is contained in smelt snow water. For example, in our region, these figure are 4.7 milligram per cubic decimeter and uh, 0 0.2 milligram cubic decimeter. In other aspects, mountain range uh, noticeably intensifies storm activity and they contribute to the emergence of powerful upward air currents and acceleration of cold forms. As a result of two stage high thermal uh, reaction that occur during a thunderstorm, nitric oxide 2 is formed, uh, which is oxidized to nitric ox oxide uh, 4. Thus, along uh, with rainfall nitrates, fall to the Earth's surface, migrating to mountain streams. And the next one um, about the petroleum hydrocarbons in the mountain river. Crude oil and uh, natural gas naturally enter to the ocean at the areas now as, as sips. These hydrocarbons uh, leak out of found uh, taut uh, fractured and sediments in the same way freshwater springs bring water to the surface. The same situation typical also for many mountain rivers, especially in our region. As a result of uh, uh, crude oil production, uh, petroleum and petroleum products from time to time to escape on land and become a treat on surface water pollution. We can often observe that uh, crude oil products such as uh, uh, fuse uh, get with rainwater and meltwater to the rivers, especially in small rivers or streams like this. 
according to the result of special studies conducted by a number of scientists in different regions of our country found that the highest concentration of pollution uh, pollutants in stormwater runoff are observed in the first 10 or 20 minutes of rain. Okay, the some aspects that were included in this lecture are duplicated in the reports of my colleagues. colleagues. So I decided to not uh, repeat them and to uh, exclude this question from the presentation. This is a question of ecological monitoring of rare waters, the impact of uh, tourism on water resources, um, listen to their lectures and enjoy. Uh, it is clear that everything about Montreux cannot be told in such a short period of time. Therefore, I recommended um, the following literature, uh, list and web resources, book to depend our knowledge. In particular, the first of them is devoted to anthropogenic impact on ecosystem of mountain regions. And then next to me, upper table instruments. Ah, oh, it's not very good. Uh, and test system, what we use for field research. Uh, if you see, yes. <laughs> and the current meter. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Ruslan, for your nice and informative presentations. Uh, so, from his presentations, we came to know about the how different types of chemicals are entering into the natural waters, and they sorted out and they postulated some process how chemicals, different types of chemicals, are entering into the natural uh, waters. Another one important thing is that here, uh, they, they, they clearly uh, stated that the cold water uh, has the more dissolved oxygen than the normal or moderately hot water. So fantastic uh, uh, research, I think. And uh, he mentioned uh, some recommendations and some tools also in his presentations. Thank you very much, Dr. Ruslan, <clears throat> for your presentations. Uh, 